Catherine, Carlos, Mario, Marilyn, Carla, Francisco, and Carlos Humberto. Thank you for being on time. I hope you have had a wonderful Wednesday. So, I read that some of you were still driving. Okay, so some people are going to be uh, like a little late and Carlos is here driving. So yeah, thank you for letting us know. Um, es importante siempre saber que va de oyente. Gracias, Carlos. Vaya con cuidado, drive safe, and let us know. Okay. I mean, Julissa va de camino. Okay. I know there is traffic, I like traffic, so I know most of you are still driving. Um, in the meantime, so I'm going to start sharing the screen. Uh, I'm always stuck yesterday. Okay, so this is where we stopped yesterday. Hasta aquí nos quedamos ayer. Um, no tuvimos chance, bueno, sí chequeamos, me acuerdo, alguien compartió y chequeamos respuestas. Y también les mandé el enlace del video, so that you can check your answer. So, I hope that you have done it that. If not, well, you still have the link in the WhatsApp group, so that you can check your answers whenever you find it convenient. Now, to continue working with this uh, topic is going to be still the present perfect. And here we have some um, vocabulary, okay? As this, we're going to be talking about past experiences using the present continuous. We will need uh, this vocabulary. So we have an entertainment guide for fun things to do in your army. So we have here, go to a jazz club. Let me see that picture. Do you like jazz? I do. Take a riverboat tour. That sounds interesting. Ride in a streetcar. Mm. That might be a good thing to do, yeah. Visit a historic home. That is nice. Go to a food festival. That sounds interesting as well. Have you done any of these activities or which of these activities would you like to try? Tell me. Would you like to try any of these activities? I would like to go to a jazz club, take a river boat tour, um, ride in a street car. Why not? And go to a food festival. Yes. I would like to do all those activities. And what about you? Which of these activities would you like to try? ¿Cuáles de estas actividades les gustaría intentar o hacer? Can you hear me? So in my case, I would like to try to take a, a river tour. Oh, a river boat tour. Yeah. That sounds nice. Thank you for participating. Anybody else?
Okay, so seems like only one person can participate for this moment. Okay, let's go to the conversation. I'm going to stop sharing here. And uh, hopefully we will be able to practice pronunciation. Maybe out here so that you can listen to the conversation. Unit 10. Have you ever ridden a camel? Page 64, Exercise 2, Conversation. A visit to New Orleans. Part A. Listen and practice. It's great to see you, Todd. Have you been in New Orleans long? No, not really. Just a few days. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I've already been to one. Oh, well, how about a riverboat tour? Uh, I've already done that too. Have you ridden in a streetcar? They're a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. Any question about this? Diana? Okay, seems like nobody has questions about it. So I assume that you know uh, every single word and uh, uh, you don't have any questions about pronunciation. But I'm going to play the recording one more time and I'm going to stop it so that you can repeat at home with microphones off. Unit 10. Have you ever ridden a camel? Page 64, Exercise 2, Conversation. A visit to New Orleans. Part A. Listen and practice. It's great to see you, Todd. Have you been in New Orleans long? No, not really. Just a few days. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I've already been to one. Oh, well, how about a riverboat tour? Uh, I've already done that too. Have you ridden in a streetcar? They're a lot of fun.
Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. Okay, um, I'm going to send you to break up room so that you can practice this conversation with your classmate. Maybe, um, but, you know, the conversation is here in the presentation too. This is what we have already listened. So, um, you have it in the PowerPoint presentation that I sent before we started the um, this module. So you can go ahead and practice. Alexis, you raise your hand. Uh, see, coach, uh, can you repeat the, the, the contraction that have been? What is the pronunciation? Have? Okay. I, the 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 contraction the I I have I've I've okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, create the break for room so that you can practice and I'm going to allow the sharing option. Good night, Francisco. Yo creo que no me había escuchado. No. Yo estaba hablando sola. <risa> <risa> Así que no crea que no le había contestado. Sí, medio le escuché por ahí. Sí, es que quizás como no tenía los audífonos, pues. Pensé ok, que... ahorita comparto pantalla, Marvin. No mames. Ok. <risa> I am saying, so no pueden ver, sí, se ve perfecto. ¿Qué se va a hacer? Practicar. Hola. Hello. Sí, practicar la conversación. Ok. Somos cinco, no sé quién, quiénes van a iniciar con... 
si quiere empecemos usted y yo, Francis. Ok, está bien. Ok. I grab to see you to have you been in New Orleans long? No. Not really. Just a few days. Mm, I can wait to show why well, I can wait to show you the city. Have you been to a uh, jazz club yet? Um, yeah. Have you already been to one? Oh, well, how about a river bow tour? Oh, I I will read some that too. Have you ridden in a street car? They 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 a lot of of fun. Actually, that's that's how I got there here today. Got here today. Well, is there I'm anything? you want to do? You know already. Just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. Me. Okay. Si gusta, envíase usted ahora, Francisco. Eh, veamos, démosle participación a los otros. Si nos queda tiempo, volvemos a iniciar. Ah, vaya, está bien. Impedido, ajá. Ok. ¿Quién más está disponible? Hola. Hola. Si gusta, empiece usted. Ok. It's great to see you, Todd. Have you been in New Orleans long? No, not really. Just a few days. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I already been to one. Oh, well, how, how about a riverboat tour? Oh, um, I already done that too. Have you ridden in a street car? They they are a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got hurt today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. Okay. You no, know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. Now I jam. It's great to see you, dude. Have you been in New Orleans long? No, I'm not really. Just ask me a few days. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I already been to one. Oh, well, how about a riverboat tour? tour. Oh, I already done that too. Have you ridden a street car? They're a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got their day. Well, is there anything you want to do? To know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. Okay.
no sé. Okay, now I see more people in the meeting. I hope that we have more people available to participate. In the meantime, we have been practicing this conversation in the breakout rooms. We have two volunteers, so we can check pronunciation together. Yo, me. <laughs> Mara, thank you. Anybody and... with Aymara? Any other volunteers or are they with Aymara? Me. Okay, let's see. I have um, Francisco. Marilyn, Mario. 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 Okay. 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 Okay, it's great to see you, Tal. Have you been in New Orleans long? No, not really. Just a few days. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I've already been to one. Oh, well, how, how about the riverboat, riverboat tour? Oh, I already told that too. Wait, I'm sorry. <laughs> Hey, Mara. Hello. Okay, Mara está teniendo problemas con su internet. Vamos a practicar quizás no Sí, tiene problemas con sí, internet. Ok, sí. Vamos a darle chance a Marilyn, que Marilyn quería participar. 
Eh, hasta ahorita solo había escuchado algunas palabras, aquí tomé nota para que eh, veamos esto, hacemos un pequeño repaso con eh, a few, a few, a few, a few, a few, and also I've already, I've already, also, I've already, I've already. Y en la otra que escuché, Riverboat Tour, a Riverboat Tour, Riverboat Tour, a Riverboat Tour. Ok, podemos empezar otra vez okay. con Marilyn, que vi que había levantado la manita. Cecia también había levantado la manita. Cecia y Mario, luego vamos con Cecia y Mario. Ok. Uh -huh. Ok, va a empezar usted, empiezo yo. Okay. It's great to see you, Todd. Have you been in New Orleans long? No, not already. Just a, a few days. I can't wait to show to Siri. Have you been to a just cook yet? Yeah, I've already been to one. Oh, well, how about a rival tour? Oh, I've already done that too. Have you ridden in a street car? They are a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to to do you know i really just want to take it easy my feet are killing me excellent and you take into account the correction that's awesome thank you so much you did it fantastic thank you okay thank you for participating now let's listen to mario and setia Hello. Hola. Ladies first. Okay. It's great to see you. So, have you been in New Orleans long? No, not really. Just a few days. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yes, I've already been to one. Oh, well. How about the Riverwood tour? Uh, I've already done that too. Have you ridden in a street car? They're a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. Okay, fantastic. Thank you. Excellent. No words that I heard mispronounced. So you did it excellent. Thank you so much, Cecia and Mario. Um, okay. So uh, let's continue here with the listening. About this conversation, this is, I'm sharing the screen again. I'm sharing the sound. And we are going to listen to the part B. This is just for practicing and develop our listening. So we're going to do the part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What do they plan to do tomorrow? Let's listen. And if necessary, you can take notes and see. What do they plan to do tomorrow? Listen, and then you tell. Page 64, Exercise 2, Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What do they plan to do tomorrow? So let's just stay here and relax. I know you're tired. Thanks, Jan. But we can plan something for tomorrow. Great. Have you been to the zoo? No, I haven't. But I've heard it's good. Let's go there in the afternoon. Okay. Say, have you been to the French market? 
I'd love to go there, too. Actually, I've never been there. You're kidding. And how many years have you lived in New Orleans? We have to go there. You get the information or you want to listen again? You have the information? Oh, repeat again. Okay. Again, please. Okay. Page 64, Exercise 2, Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What do they plan to do tomorrow? So let's just stay here and relax. I know you're tired. Thanks, Jan. But we can plan something for tomorrow. Great. Have you been to the zoo? No, I haven't. But I've heard it's good. Let's go there in the afternoon. Okay. Say, have you been to the French market? I'd love to go there, too. Actually, I've never been there. You're kidding. And how many years have you lived in New Orleans? We have to go there. Now, where are they planning to go? Volunteer? New Orleans. Hmm. Where are they planning to go? They are going to go to the French market. Excellent, Alexis. And they mentioned two places, and that's one, Alexis. Very good. The, zoo? the French market, and what is the other place? The zoo. The zoo. Excellent. You're a good listener. Excellent, Alexis. Thank you so much for your participation. You know, listening is one of the most difficult um, skills to develop, and you're doing it awesome. Now, I'm going to stop for a little while so we can check attendance. Abigail Elizabeth Flores. Present. Abigail Mejia Mendoza. Present. Thank you. Carlos Alberto Castro. Present. Thank you so much. Carlos Emilio Cotto. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Carlos Humberto Estrada. Okay, thank you, Carlos. Hey, that I was in chat. Tejano Emi Ramos. Present teacher. Thank you, teacher. Francisco Ernesto Acuña. Present teacher. Thank you. Gerson Alexis Cune. Gerson Alexis. Present. Thank you. Gertrudis Aymara. Present. Thank you, Gertrudis. Hazel Vanessa. Rachel Vanessa. Silvisa Yamile. Carla Ibania. Mr. 
Luis Javier. Gracias, Teacher. Gracias, Luis. Saúl. Matías Saúl. Marilina Alejandra. Here. Mario Ernesto. Gracias. Mario. Melanie Alexandra. Present. Thank you so much. Samuel. Santos Cristina. Present, teacher. Thank you. Victor Noé. Present. Victor. Okay, oh, let me share the screen again so that we can move back in the presentation. Okay, we already completed part A and B in this presentation. And here, um, something that I would like to report here is that with the present perfect, it is commonly uh, used the word um, already and yet. So, con el presente continuo, eh, perdón, presente perfecto, con frecuencia van a ver que se usa already and yet. Vamos a ver. Already or yet. We have this information here. Is there any volunteer to read this slide for us? A volunteer to read? No volunteer? Okay. Nobody wants to read? Mario, thank you so much. Are ready or yet? We use already to refer to something which has happened or might have happened before the moment of speaking. Are ready can sometimes su suggests surprise on the part of the speaker that something is unexpected. Is it seven o'clock already? The speaker didn't expect it to be too late. We use most commonly in question and negatives to talk about things which are expected but this has not happened. Is it seven o'clock yet? The speaker thing that probably it's almost seven o'clock. Sigo? Yes, please. A, letter A. Where will, where will you be stay, staying? Letter B. I haven't decided yet but some somewhere in the city center. I already refers to things which have happened or which people think may have happened. Yet refers to things which have not happened or which people think may not have happened. All right, excellent. Thank you so much for reading from, for us, Mario. You have a really, really good pronunciation. Um, however, we're going to reinforce a um, couple of things. Uh, they are very difficult. Es difícil, no es um, fácil acostumbrarlos, pero eh, tiene muy buena pronunciación. Pero realmente es poquito lo que hay que reforzar. Y qué bueno que estamos tomando la oportunidad de, con la participación. Con los verbos que terminan en ed, or here, like happened, happened. Oh, it's like the at the end. 
eh, no pronunciamos la, la, la esta E. Acuérdense, son tres pronunciaciones. El ED sound happened. Yeah. And, uh, and this is very difficult. Nos cuesta con las que empiezan con S. Como por ejemplo, stop, school, smoke, staying. En este caso, staying, staying. Tenemos que, y esto le sucede a muchos, eh, como que ponemos una E por ahí, decimos staying, school, stop. That is not correct. Tenemos que practicar mucho con las palabras que empiezan con E sin poner una E antes, ¿verdad? Nos cuesta un poquito porque uh, no tenemos ese sonido en nuestra lengua materna. Empezar eh, por. So, yes. Um, eh, la invitación es para todos, ¿verdad? Practiquen esto. Sonido. Staying. 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 Stop. Cool. Smoke. Y busquen palabras que empiecen con F y practiquenlas sin ponerle una E al principio. Stay, school, start, stop. Yeah? And that's it. But very good, Mario. You've been doing excellent. And uh, yes, about the uses of already and yet, let's see si estas dos palabras se usan con frecuencia en el presente perfecto. Already, según tenemos aquí. Es como eh, decir eh, ya, es algo que no esperábamos que hubiera sucedido ya, pero, pero ya ha sucedido. Y el yet es como que algo aún no ha sucedido. Ok. Um, eso es básicamente a lo que se refiere a lo que estábamos de, de ver. Y que tenemos present perfect, already and yet. Ahora que ya definimos qué significa already and yet, tenemos ahí algunos ejemplos. Eh, vamos a verlo acá en este grammar copy. So you see present perfect with already and yet. Voy a cambiarme para ponerles el audio. Page 65, Exercise 3, Grammar Focus. Present Perfect, Already, Yet. The present perfect is formed with the verb have plus the past participle. Have you been to a jazz club? Yes, I've been to several. No, I haven't been to one. Has he called home lately? Yes, he's called twice this week. No, he hasn't called in months. Have they eaten dinner yet? Yes, they've already eaten. No, they haven't eaten yet. Contractions I've equals I have. You've equals you have. He's equals he has. She's equals she has. It's equals it has. We've equals we have. They've equals they have. Hasn't equals has not. Haven't equals have not. Okay, um, so as you can see here, Um, the contractions, y acabamos de escuchar, ¿verdad? Las contracciones del eh, sujeto con el have or has. And, como, hey, esto sí, then, en la E no se pronuncia, ¿verdad? I've, I've, you, you. So, yeah, it's pretty easy. Es cuestión de practicarlo y acostumbrarlo. Y, Yeah, so el uh, already es como para algo que eh, pasas antes de lo que ya es eh, esperado, ¿verdad? Es como decir, ya, 
eh, y el 10 que sería aún para algo que no ha sucedido yet. no yet so eso es como usamos el present perfect form already in yet tenemos las contractions y uh, aquí how many times todo esto lo tienen en la en la and stop sharing so that you can see here in the presentation. Here. So you got the grammar focus here. I can put in grammar focus in case that you need to check it. And then we have this exercise. It says, how many times have you done these things in the past week? Write your answers. So we're going to write, uh, how many times have we cleaned the house the past week? So I can say I have cleaned the house, oh, I think like three times. I have cleaned the house like three times in the past week. How many times have you made your bed? So we say I have made, so remember that the verb has been in participle. Tenemos regular verbs with past participles que son los que los, los regulares terminan en ed, right? Called, hiked, jogged, and tried. And the irregular past que son los que practicamos ayer, los que cambian, no llevan ed, no siguen una regla. So it's like, um, be changes to been, do, in past participle, changes to done, it, in, gone, gone, have, had, made, made, write, written, in, in. So you can um, use them and here probably, so you can say, um, how many times have you done the laundry in the past week? So I have done, I have done the laundry five times in the past week, almost every day. <laughs> so yeah, so you have to write your answers. So um, let's see, we have cleaned the house, make your bed, cook dinner, do laundry, wash the dishes, go grocery shopping. Uh, is there any new word here or any question? And here you have one example. I cleaned the house once this week. Or if it is negative, your answer, it can be, I haven't cleaned the house this week. Write your answer. I'll give you time for you to write your answers in your notebooks.
Have you finished? Yes. Okay, now that you have finished writing your answers, we're going to practice speaking. Uh, you have to ask this question, how many times have you? And then remember, add the verb in the past participle, the complement, and add in the past week. For example, the First question should be, how many times have you cleaned your bed in the past week? And you select one person in the group. For example, you can say, uh, Christina, how many times, uh, how many times have you cleaned your bed in the past week? And then Christina said, I have cleaned my bed um, every day in the past week. And then Christina can say, Mario, how many times have you made your bed in the past week? Now we continue with this. It's like a chain. How many times have you made your bed in the past week? And Mario can say, probably I haven't made my bed in the past week. Or probably I've made my bed five times in the past week. Or you say, and then Mario can ask another classmate, how many times have you done the laundry in the past week? Okay. Is it clear? Okay. I'm going to create the breakout rooms for you to practice your speaking with this question. Yo pregunto. ¿Qué? No le entendí, Alex. <ríe> y yo esperando que preguntara, perdón. Bueno, para usted, Alex. How okay. many times you have you 
perdón. How many times have you cleaned your bed in the past week? Okay. Um, I have made my bed three times in the past week. Okay. Me pregunto yo. O oh, sí. Hoy pregunto yo, sí o no. ¿Cómo? Sí, se pregunta a cualquiera. Pero le dice el nombre para que sepamos quién va a responder. Sí, sí, okay. Ay, sorry, me podrían explicar. Es que voy en camino y no, no puse mucha atención en esa explicación. Ah, estamos haciendo. Me too. I have been problem with my internet. No problem. Eh, vamos a hacer eh, preguntas a los compañeros. Eh, ¿Cuántas veces? más o menos hacen cierta actividad. Entonces la pregunta es how many times si quieren lo voy a escribir en el grupo en, ajá, en, chat, el, en el chat como la estructura verdad y luego solo contestamos con la con la misma estructura del present perfect Así. Entonces, donde están los puntitos, ustedes le pueden poner clean your house, por ejemplo. Make your bed. Hacemos la pregunta, how many times have you? Y le hacemos la pregunta, ¿qué, qué actividad habrá? Clean your house, make your bed, done the laundry, etc. In the past week. The verb is in past. The past part is both. Past parts. Okay. Yes. Y vamos a responder como la oración completa en past parts. Bueno. For, for example, eh, como respuesta de la primera, clean your house. Eh, how many times have you cleaned your house in the past week? Podría ser, I clean my, I clean my house eh, three times in the past week. Por ejemplo. Entonces nos vamos a ir preguntando eso y vamos a decir el nombre nada más para que esa persona responda. No sé si me, me di a entender. Yes. Haremos como una, una cadena. Ajá, exacto, exacto. Entonces, okay. yo le acabo de preguntar a Alexis. Alexis puede que le pregunte a Aymara. Aymara le pregun me pregunta a mí, por ejemplo, ¿verdad? O a Mario y así. Ok, entonces la pregunta es: ¿How many times have you, you in the past week? Ajá, ahí le voy a agregar algo. Donde dice you y le puse tres puntitos, le voy a agregar. ¿Qué es lo que hizo? ¿Cuántas veces hizo esa actividad? I ya don't understand the answer. Ya sea clean your house or make your bed or cook the dinner. Uh, eh, cualquier cosa que usted pueda hacer en su casa. Uh -huh. la, estru eh, la estructura de la respuesta, ¿cómo es que se me... Ah, vaya, la estructura de la respuesta sería así. Él voy a dar la... Sería, I have... En la primera, por ejemplo, clean. Oh. Tienen habilitada la opción para compartir pantalla para que se les haga más fácil si todos están viendo el ejercicio. Ok, es cierto, teacher. Pero, teacher, yo estuve queriendo buscar la. ¿Está en la presentación o está en el material? No, está en la presentación. En la presentación. Ah, ya la he hecho. Ah, pues les comparto la presentación. Este.
Pueden verlo. Yes. Yes, yes. Ok. Ah, pues son estas. Ay, Dios mío. Estas actividades son realmente las que tenemos que practicar. Clean the house. Pero utilizando el past participle. O sea, ahí sería clean, made, cooked, eh, done y así. Con washes y con. Vaya, Alexis, si gusta pregunte. No sé si entendieron, compañero. Le pregunto a usted para que también. Si gusta. Vale. Thank you. Ok, Cecia. Eh, How many times have you have you cook the the dinner the past in the past week? I've cooked the dinner three times in the past week. Okay. okay. Aymara, is Aymara todavía? Yes, yes. Yeah, Aymara. Okay. Um, Aymar, how many times have you done the laundry in the past week? Uh, I have one once. I know. Pero como es, espérate. I I have I have uh, done done to done laundry two times. No. Twice. Es correct. Es que inventaba esto. I have do, done laundry two times. ¿O no? Yes, it? or twice. Que son or bet. twice. Uh -huh. In Two the or twice. Bueno, ahora usted I... pregunta a uno de los compañeros. How... Espera, <coughs> ver. Quiero ver. How many Pero, times you made your bell in the past week? Pero di el nombre a quién. Ah, eh, Mario. Mario. Uh, repeat. Oh, hello, Mario. Oh. How many times you made you made your bed in the last the, in the past week? I. May no. I, I may may my bed every time last week. Every day last week. Every day. Okay, perfect. Now about the the um, the time like for example, um, and I wrote it in the chat. Ya les escribí en el chat. Cuando es una vez, se dice once. Si son dos veces, twice. Luego de tres en adelante se usa el número normal y se agrega la palabra times. Three times, four times, five times, por ejemplo. Las únicas que son diferentes si es una vez, once. Dos veces, twice. Luego ya vamos three times, four times, and so on. Okay, continue. You're doing it good. Lo están haciendo bien. When say once or twice, no decimos times, ¿verdad? No. Son las únicas dos que son diferentes. Una vez, once. Dos veces, twice. Ya de ahí en adelante, si se le va poniendo el número y la palabra times. Three times, four times, yes. Okay. Okay, thank you, teacher. Uh, Cecia, how many times have you washed the dishes in the past week? I washed the dishes uh, four times in the past week. And 
Abigail me preguntó. Yes. <ríe> okay. eh, vamos con Mario. Awesome. How many times have you cooked the dinner in the past week? I haven't cooked the dinner in the past week. Okay, Mario. Ahora le pregunta a otro. Um, pero voy a tener uh, Alexis. Oh, ¿A mí? ¿A quién? ¿A Abigail. Ah, Abigail. Ok, Abigail. How, how many times, how many times have you, have you go grocery shopping in the past week? Grocery. I have once gone grocery shopping in that week. Okay. Um, Alexis, how many times have you cooked dinner? In the past week, okay, I have cooked uh, my dinner uh, seven days in the past week. No, s s seven times in the past week. Thank you. Uh, okay, wait. Aymara, you listen. Aymara. Aymara. Okay. Um, Mario, uh, how many times have you gone grocery shopping in the past week? Um, I, I haven't, I haven't, I say, yeah, gone. Gone in the room. I haven't, yes, I haven't gone grocery shopping in the past week. Okay. Thank you. Finish. Mario tenía que preguntar. Ah, ah, pero ya no sacaron. Ya no sacaron. Thank you. Thank you.
beginning, I was checking in the group and yes, at the beginning it was kind of hard, but with the time you realize that you were doing it better. Se dieron cuenta que ya con el iba eh, pasando y práctica iba siendo un poco más fácil, ¿verdad? So it is a matter of practice and um, good for you. Muy bien por los que um, han estado practicando y se dieron cuenta que al principio fue un poquito como que les costó arrancar. Pero ya después ya lo estaban haciendo eh, más eh, fluido. Entonces la intención es hablar un poquito más. ¿Sí? Now, see, uh, then the next exercise is complete the conversation using the present perfect. Eso está un poquito más fácil porque solo vamos a ir completando lo que está ahí. Eh, Use el presente perfect. Okay? Y, eh, por ejemplo, bueno, ahí tiene una estructura y pues que se nos olvida. Eh, recuerden si es pregunta, pues empezamos con el auxiliar, have or has, depending of the subject. Eh, luego el verbo siempre lo vamos a utilizar en pasado participio. Y pues ahí tienen en paréntesis lo que van a ir completando. Eh, lo voy a dejar aquí en la sección principal para que lo escriban, eh, puede ser que lo escriban en su cuaderno, en caso de la prensa. Y luego, pues, vamos a chequear.
have you finished? Or do you need more time? Yes, teacher. No le escucho, teacher. Okay, um, now, can you hear me now? Yes. Yes, um, <laughs> That complete this conversation using the present perfect when you say complete this expressions that we're going to keep. Uh, do we have columns here for number one? I have to don't watch exercise this week. Yes, I have already been to aerobic class for time. Yes, excellent. That is correct. Thank you so much. Yes, I have already been to aerobic class for time. Very good. Now, number two. Volunteer? Me? Thank you. And uh, Have you played any sport this month? Played? Uh, no, I haven't had the time. Excellent. Have you played any sport this month? No, I haven't had the time. Perfect. Now, um, let's see. Number three, volunteer. Number three. Volunteer for number three. Me, teacher. Thank you so much, my dear. How many movies have you have you been to this month? Actually, I have I have seen any yet. Mm. Yeah. Very good, but we're missing something. Cuando estamos con any, quiere decir que es negativo. Entonces, uh, si falta I have or I haven't. I haven't, okay. I haven't seen any yet. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much, my dear. So it will be how many movies have you been to this month? Actually, I haven't seen any yet. Very good. Now, volunteer for number four. Me, teacher. Thank you so much. Have you been to any interesting parties recently? 
No, I haven't gone to any parties for quite a while. A while. Excellent. Have you been to any interesting parties recently? No, I haven't gone to any parties for quite a while. Excellent. Aquí creo que viene un cuadrito chiquito donde estamos viendo su respuesta, ¿verdad? They are correct. So, excellent. Now, number five, or volunteer for number five. Me, teacher. Thank you, Amiri. Have you called any friends today? Yes, I, I have already made three calls. Excellent. Very good job. So you see, have you called any friends today? Yes, I've already made three calls. Excellent. Thank you so much for your answer. Number six, finally, number six, volunteer. Number six. Me teacher. Okay. How many times? How many times have you gone out to eat this week? I have eaten at fast food restaurant a couple of times. Excellent. Yes, the answer is correct. How many times have you gone out to eat this week? I've eaten at a fast food restaurant a couple of times. Excellent. So you did a very good job with this. Now let me les voy a mandar a como que esto al final. Y les voy a mandar al WhatsApp. Vamos a compartir en WhatsApp para que les quede ahí en el chat. Right, you have it in the WhatsApp. And you can check. I send it. I send it. Now, let me check. Okay, let's check attendance for the second time tonight. Okay, let's check attendance and then we will continue. Abigail Elizabeth Flores. Present. Thank you so much, Abigail. Abigail Mejia Mendoza. Present. Thank you so much. Carlos Alberto Castro Santana. Present. Thank you so much. Carlos Emilio Cotto Arreño. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Carlos Humberto Estrada Escobar. Cecilia Noemi Ramos. Present teacher. Okay, thank you so much, Cecilia. Francisco Ernesto Acuña. Present teacher. So much. Herson Alexis Pune. Herson Alexis. Gertrudis Aymara. <laughs> present. Thank you so much, Aymara and Carlos Humberto. Um, Hazel Vanessa. Hazel Vanessa. Felicia Yamile. Carla Ivania. 
Thank you. Present is Carmen. Thank you. Luis Javier. Present, Miss. Thank you. Maciel Esaú. Present, teacher. Thank you, Maciel. You were having issues with the internet, right? Yes, teacher. Yeah, but you were here then. Marilyn Alejandra. Present. Thank you, Marilyn. Mario Ernesto. Present. Thank you so much, Marilyn. Melanie Alexandra. Present. Thank you. Samuel Antonio. Santa Cristina. Victor Noel. Okay, now that we have to make the tenants for the second time, we're going to proceed with the uh, speaking practice. We have done this exercise in the main section. Yeah, if you want to say it's a final section principal. Well, we're going to continue. Um, we have a list and the questions and the answers. We are going to use the same questions, but we're going to provide our own answers. Like, for example, have you done the uh, much exercise this week? I could say no. I haven't done any exercise this week, okay? I haven't done any type of exercise this week. I have been very busy. So yes, you have to give your own answers, but I don't know if you need a time for it, uh, if you want or if you prefer to write your answers before. Prefieren tiempo para escribir sus respuestas antes de ir solo al speaking. ¿Creen que es más fácil para ustedes? Mm, yes, teacher. Okay, I'll give you time. So, same questions, but your own answers. So, there are six questions. Son seis preguntas. Las están viendo en, el, en la pantalla donde dice Answers, aquí es como nos quedaron, y también se nos ha compartido en el chat.
Himish, my name is Lorenzo. Okay, hey, have you finished writing your answers? Not yet, teacher, but... Yes, we have. Almost done. Okay, you have one more minute. Okay, let's practice. Ask and answer the questions in the breakup rooms. I'm going to create the rooms and you will ask and answer the questions that you have. You will take turns, same as in the previous exercise. Police. Corner. Good evening. Good evening. Bye. Entonces, me imagino que vamos a hacer la misma cadenita, ¿verdad? Sí. Yes. Okay. Usted, Alexis. Okay. Have um, you done much exercise this week? I haven't done any exercise in the whole year. Okay. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Um, 
para... Marlin, 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 listen, listen, can you hear me? Or my DL, as a book. Yes, I'm ready. Okay, okay. Um, Uh, how do you play any sport this month? Actually, I haven't. Uh, I don't know. Yes, I I played a soccer for four days a week at noon in the work. Um, you, how many movies have you been to this month? Um, no, I haven't seen any any yet. Uh, Cecia, um, have you been to any interesting party recently? No, I haven't gone to any parties. Okay. And Magdiel. Tell me. Um, have you called any friends today? You say, how you call it any friends today? Um, yes. I already made one call to my friend. Um, Cecilia. Yes. I have, have eaten at fast food restaurant a uh, couple of times? I eat in at fast food restaurant once a week. Once a week? Yes. Alexis. Okay. Yeah. Pardon, Cecilia? Uh, I eat in at fast food restaurant once a week. Uh, once in the past week. Okay. Ajá, porque si decimos once a week, es como que estamos right. bastante simple, ¿eh? como que estamos uh -huh. haciendo algo cada semana. So, I eaten in a fast food restaurant once in the past week. Last week, okay. Uh, Alexis. Mm -hmm. How, how many movies have you been to this month? I I haven't I haven't seen any any yet. I haven't been to any yet. Okay. Um, like the girl. Um, how you call any friends today? Yes, I've already made one call to friend, my best friend. Um, two. Have you played any sport this month? Yes, I have played uh, twice. Uh, no, I didn't have played soccer twice. Um, Cecilia? 
how many times have you gone out to eat this week? I've eaten a fast food restaurant once, once in the past week. Okay. Miguel. Um, have you done much exercise this week? Yes, I have already gone running three times a week. Teacher, teacher, one, I have a question. Mm -hmm. If when we use are ready and, and our answer, you know, some are ready, ¿qué pasa? Eh, cuando uso el already es como decir, eh, eh, como ya hice tal cosa o algo que ya sucedió, eh, probablemente antes de lo esperado. Uh -huh. Como decir, ya lo hice. Por ejemplo, si me dicen, um, por ejemplo, digamos una situación y tenemos like, uh, tenemos una fiesta, eh, preparativos y todo, y me dicen eh, que es, eh, o me pregunta, este, ya compraste o ya hiciste el, uh, have you gone grocery shopping for the party? And I say, yes. I have gone already. Sí, ya lo hice, ya fui. Es como decir, uh -huh. ya hice tal cosa. Y el yet es como aún, aún, no, o aún, cuando seremos a ver, no sabemos si ya la acción está terminada, o decimos aún no. No, I haven't gone yet. Aún no he ido. No, I haven't gone yet. Okay, thank you so much. Y el already es para indicar que una acción ya se hizo, ya se finalizó y probablemente antes de lo esperado. Uh, yeah. uh -huh. Oh my God, it is time for us to leave. Yeah. The rooms. Well, we practiced at least for a while, a little while. We were practicing speaking and you were doing it good. We'll continue with more and tomorrow. And I think that we will finish this um, topic tomorrow. So thank you so much for joining today's session and see you tomorrow. Thank you so much, George. You tomorrow. Thank you. You're welcome. Good night. Catch you later. Bye.